between uh, relaxing and hitting those shots, I think. Which one would be the right way for Dallas? Which one would be the right way to play for Dallas? Two I think I think just you know keeping the pace up and then mm -hmm. and then playing to our advantage. Um, you know we know everything that they're going to do. They know everything that uh, we're going to do. So um, you know, I think playing to our advantage and knowing uh, how we can attack them, which we've been working on. So. Thank you, man. Dante, I know you guys are obviously playing for a bigger goal, but your first college day is coming up. Has that hit you yet? How are you feeling? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I should totally forgot. Is that, is that, what, what is that Sunday? Sunday. Um, yeah, no. Uh, I totally forgot. Hopefully they've got something planned for me, but you know, I'm not too worried. I think just um, being able to wake up and, and see her, um, that's enough for me. I know she's too young to understand it, but as she gets older, what will you tell her about living this experience competing in the finals? Yeah, I, I think um, so the biggest thing is you know setting goals. Um, you know, having a, a dream big enough that you can kind of um, you know work towards it and you know pursue it your whole life, um, and it's going to be achievable. I think that's the biggest thing, and um, just to keep working for it. I'm not, not going to ask you about game plan questions. Last one. Uh, I'm not going to ask you about game plan questions, but versus Minnesota, you guys ran a ton of double screen stuff, and it was really successful, like double drive screens, stuff like that. I haven't seen that much at all of this series. Um, is there anything about how Boston defends front line or back line that makes that more difficult? Yeah, um, no, I think they do a lot of switching. Um, so, I mean, we've done a bit where we, you know, we kind of get some switches out that we want. Um, and yeah, it's definitely something that we can look into going a bit more, but I think getting into more of a flow of offense and um, you know, not kind of just getting a, a first switch and then attacking that. Um, you know, sometimes we need to get through a bit of offense and make them defend a bit. Thanks, Sean. It keeps me out of the action because, you know, uh, our dream was to focus on offense. So we have to make sure he, you know, gets out there slide and sweep the lead. You said before the series that you double down with consistency. What does that actually look like for you? It's just hard work at the end of the day. Um, giving 110% with anything that I do, whether it's working on my mental, working on my physical, and just, you know, when it comes to just the on-court stuff, of course I'm locked in, but it also consists of just like the off-court stuff to take care of the body, to take care of the mental. And all of that ties into how you perform on the floor, and that's just like one of the biggest focus that I have when it comes to just how I want to play. That's like my main goal is just always come out every game happy and just having fun in the game. Last question? Other than the obvious, what's the difference in playing at home as play, other than playing on the road? The energy, the crowd, like I said, it's going to be a sold out crowd tomorrow, so they should hear us on the other side of Texas in Arkansas, uh, <laughs> probably, you know, on the other side of the map too. So. <laughs> All right. Thank you.